Hey guys, what is happening? And welcome to the Pacific Northwest where we are talking about the Airbnb disaster that is coming. So without further ado guys, let's do this. All right guys, welcome back. So first of all, please make sure to hit that like button. It greatly helps get videos out there on the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in content like this. So basically, we are traveling right now in the Pacific Northwest and it's absolutely stunning here. Over there is the Olympic Mountains, which you can barely ever see. Uh, it's the first time we've been here and actually seen them, and we've been here like four or five times now. So the thing is, I wanted to talk about Airbnb, and I thought it's a perfect example to talk about it now. The thing is, me and my girlfriend have been traveling for years and years and years, and we were traveling in the years after the GFC. We were going to places like the Florida Keys, we did a lot of traveling in the United States and everything like that. So we were always booking self-catering accommodation and this was before the time of Airbnb. And I can tell you from experience that in that post-GFC era when the economy was still really hurt and scarred from the global financial crisis, that self-catering accommodation was very, very cheap. In fact, we went to Florida Keys multiple times. We were staying in really nice accommodation there. We rented entire houses and it was very, very affordable. In fact, I think at one time we paid just $1,500 for a week. Now, the thing is now, if you go and look at the Florida Keys for renting a place, it's something like three or $4,000 for a week. And the funny thing is about that, guys, when you really think about it, the amount of Airbnbs now is, is like double or triple since we were traveling there. So I think that's very interesting. And you've seen this trend happen throughout. And I'm actually gonna leave a link in the description which is to a website which actually tells you more about that where you can go and look at your city in the United States and Canada and see exactly how many Airbnb rental units there are there. Now why is this important? Well it's important for the housing market and it's important for the rental market as well because let's say, I think I looked up the other day in Vancouver, there's over 2,500 Airbnbs in Vancouver. And there was something like over 2,000 in this small area in Toronto. So that is tons of supply, potential supply of rental units and housing. So the thing is, a lot of people bought Airbnbs in this pandemic era, which I find really, really funny. And it sort of signals really the dumb money which is entering and people not really thinking things through. I mean, the economy was extremely distorted with stimulus money. People were looking at the stock market and their stock portfolios and going, yeah, this is a great time to buy an investment property. Everybody is rich. The wealth effect was there. Well, now the wealth effect is essentially in reverse and we're heading into a recession. In fact, I believe we're already in a recession right now and we're gonna head into a depression. So the thing is, we're in this recession right now, little do people know, and right now unemployment is at record lows. But as we've discussed in prior videos, it's going to go up. We know it's going to go up and it's a lagging indicator. So when people are unemployed, they're not going to be going on vacation. So this year is going to really be the last hurrah. And it's not even that. Loads and loads of Canadians and Americans and surveys and polls that I've seen have seen that people are changing their travel plans due to inflation. So the thing is, inflation is taking a massive bite out of people's income. They can't afford to go travel anymore. And you know, it's insane guys. You know, we went to this place in the Okanagan, which is another beautiful place to go to 
here in Canada during the pandemic because we couldn't really travel. And when we first went there, it was costing us something like 1800 bucks for a week in a nice three bedroom house. Well now, fast forward to now, you're talking about three or four thousand dollars. That's a massive increase. And when I look on Airbnb, which I have been doing periodically, I've been monitoring all these different places, as many places as I can, and this is what you should do too, because really you get to understand the data more when you're actually looking at it every month or every couple of months, and that's what I've been doing. And it's really, really interesting because there's been tons more Airbnb units that have come online since we went there. So the supply has actually increased of all these Airbnb units. So the funny thing is, even though the supplies increased, the prices have gone up. And why was that? It was because 2021, the stimulus money, the wealth effect, it was just a distorted economy last year. It wasn't real and people didn't know that. So people capitalized on those investments, people capitalized on the fact that people couldn't travel. And now you've got a situation where all those Airbnbs, potentially those people are gonna be trying to rent them out for long-term renters or just outright sell them because they can't afford to keep the place. You know, it's like Hilliard said, and if you haven't seen any of the live streams that we've done with Hilliard, I highly recommend you go back and check them out because it's like he said, when people recess, they actually gather together. Like the amount of people in the household increases because people who are living in basements, like kids who are living in people's basements, even families who are living in people's basement will move back in with their parents. You'll have different things like that, but all that essentially does is it means there's less people demanding rental supply. And what that means is essentially rents go down. And the thing is, if you then have Airbnbs, that are people that are then flipping those to actual long-term rentals, then you've got even more supply. And this is especially true in the cities, guys absolutely really really true so this could absolutely just destroy people who got into investment properties in 2021 2020 even over the past five or six years during these years of a distorted economy the thing is guys what people fail to understand about getting into airbnbs and things like that is we're heading into a recession i mean if you look what's happening with the bullwhip effect in the travel sector right now. I mean, we just experienced it. Our flight was canceled. We were delayed for six hours. It was a joke. And meanwhile, we're looking out the window on the runway there in Calgary near the runway and there's loads of planes just parked up, not flying, just dead money essentially sat around. Why is that? They haven't got the staff because it takes time to train them up. So now they're training them all up. By the time they train them all up, guess what? We're gonna be in a recession. There's gonna be less demand for travel and those people will be getting laid off again. So it's just unfortunate that people who are in business can't see these things. But the problem is with these people who just look at the Fed, look at the Bank of Canada, look at the politicians and they believe what they say. And these are generally older people who are meant to be more wise, but the fact is, what it is, is back when they were, you know, 20, 30, the politicians, they lied, but they didn't lie as much as they do now. And the same with the central bankers, they lied, but they didn't lie as much as they do now. So we live in completely different times where everything is just corrupt. But the clutch of this video is, which you need to bear in mind, is people who got into Airbnbs are gonna be hit by a bus. It's gonna be an absolute disaster for these people who got into these Airbnbs. They're gonna be selling them, renting them out, and that is gonna have an effect on the housing market, and it's also gonna have an effect on the rental market. So bear that in mind, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you like this kind of content, then please subscribe to the channel. Please go down below, check out the link to that website about the Airbnb. Whilst you're down there, hit the notification bell, turn it on to all notifications. So you can join us on the great live streams. We have great guests like Hilliard, Scott, many others. So anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Peace and love. Bye-bye.